Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be Operation Dome number 32, or the 32nd episode of the Operation Dome series. A series where my friends and I are going to encase the entire world in glass and glass panes. Oh, if I could even get out the door. So, pretty much, is that what we're going to do here is that we're going to collect some charcoal, we're going to collect some sand, and as well as make some glass blocks with glass panes, as well as that we're going to pretty much put a little bit of a cube dome across the world. We're not going to do a sphere, because if we were to do that, one mistake would ruin the entire thing. So, yeah, we wouldn't want to go through all that heartache to actually tear it down to make it right again. No, that's not going to work with us. So this is what it is. It's going to be a cubed dome. Okay, so let's move on from here. I am alone here since it's late at night and everybody's asleep and I'm still awake making this episode. So, for those who are new to the channel, what we do here is that we collect charcoal, we go ahead and get some sand around these areas, and we replace the areas with grass so that it could actually look like a giant, giant grasslands right here. Just, it looks kind of cool and green instead of all in the sand. Just, when we actually remove the sand, it looks like a barren wasteland. So, as you can see here, we got a lot of work to do. Just look at that. You wouldn't want to see all of this when you actually get this world. Because when we, once we are done putting up all the glass blocks, we are just going to have you guys download it. We're going to put it up for download, and then you can download this world, and then you can do whatever you want with this world. Keep in mind that with this world, there are no... What's it called? Strongholds, no ravines, no mine shafts. This is pretty much a world created a long time ago. Just pretty much one of the first worlds, or it was a backup world to Operation Bedrock. So this is the exact same C number as Operation Bedrock. So there you have it. If you know where everything in around Bedrock is, then you will know exactly where everything is here. So let me see what we got here. Apparently a cube blew up here. Ah, don't matter. So, let's see what we got to do. Let's see what I could actually talk about today. There's a few things I want to talk about today. One of them is that it's really, really kind of like a broken record at this point. But time, time, and time. I have a hard time finding some time to work to my advantage. Because this is what I usually do. I wake up around 12.30 or 1 p.m. So from there, I play a little bit of Minecraft or I just relax a tad bit before I actually have to get ready for work, which usually is at 4 p.m. So I'm at work, working a 6 to 8 hour shift. By the time I get home, it's already around 11 p.m. So once I get home, I relax a little bit more, just a little bit more, either watching YouTube or do something else. And then what I usually do is that in a while, I actually go back to looking at my videos, reviewing them, and then getting some of them ready to be uploaded. So I actually render the videos and while that's happening, then I just do a little bit of a workout or if not, then I just go ahead and do some little bit of work in Operation Dome or Operation Bedrock. So SMO has invited me to the party, so I'm going to go join his party. So let me go here, join the party. Oh yeah, I forgot I don't have my mic on. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is actually find my mic. There it is. Excuse me for a second. Hello, sword. How's it going? Alright. So just in time for me to start filming Operation Dome number 32, which is actually happening right now. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah, great timing, honestly. But let me finish what I need to say, if I can remember what I was trying to say. Ah uh, yes, time. I have hardly enough time to do anything. So what I'm going to try to do is that I'm going to try to make this schedule work for me. What I'm going to do is that every, every day that I wake up, before I go to work, I'm going to try at least to create a few Minecraft videos. So... I'm not going to upload them, I'm just going to actually record them. When I get back home from work, then I'm going to work on rendering the videos so that they can be ready to be uploaded. And once I get enough videos ready, then I'm going to start uploading the Minecraft videos daily. So if I were to actually create around 30 videos per se, 
that means I have 30 days worth of uploading. So it'll be a video every single day for the next 30 days. So that will set me up for a month and then I won't have to worry about stressing over how much time I have left before I run out of videos to make. So it's going to be a little bit of a while before I actually start uploading daily Minecraft videos. So what you guys could do to help me is that you could leave any questions, concerns, topics, discussions, or ideas that I could possibly do or answer. And if I do make a video about your question or your idea, I will credit you within that video as well that I will link your channel in the description and possibly the video itself if I could actually figure out how to do the annotations thing. Then... What is it? It's really easy, but I mean, like, how can I actually interpret the annotation within the video so that people will know who you are and then people could check out your channel and still watch my video at the same time? That type of deal. But until then, if I do answer all of that and I will credit you within that video, giving you thanks for helping me out with something to do or something to talk about for that day. So right now, I'm going to try to make the best out of time that I do have. It's just I'm really, really busy from work. And one day, if I actually make this hobby into a living, then I will, I could actually quit my other job and just work on the videos. Or maybe I'll get another part-time job. Maybe I'll work at GameStop. At least I could do video games from there, and I, and I could borrow some video games every now and then, and make more videos with the video games. More Let's Plays for everyone. I don't know. It's just, right now, I'm literally working six to eight hours at a given day. I'm working five days out of the week, and usually my days off are Sunday, which I can't really actually upload or record anything. I'm pretty much supposed to rest on that day. But me, I just, I am just a person that worries a lot. You could call me a workaholic at that point, but I'm trying to make something out of this channel. And I thank you guys for the support that you've been giving me. I thank you guys for leaving comments. I read every single one of your comments, but I don't always respond to all of them. And I do apologize for that, but it's just, it's a lot of comments. And I'm not talking about this particular video in general. I'm talking about all the videos I've uploaded because I've uploaded over a thousand videos so far. And I still get comments on a lot of my videos. So yeah, it's going to get, it's going to be tough answering all the questions. So how are you been doing, yeah, SMO? Hold on, hold, hold on. I see that you're swamped in fan mail like crazy. I... <laughs> Maybe I'll do a little bit of a series actually answers answering people's messages and all that stuff. Like, do a group collection, like fan mail, maybe. But it's just, it's one of those things. Just mainly, I want to try to actually upload daily Minecraft videos. So, answering people's questions is going to be a thing that's going to come back to this channel because I've done that several months ago, but I have yet to actually come back to it due to the fact that I've been focusing on more of the Let's Plays and other videos that were to pop up, mainly Operation Dome and Operation Bedrock. So, if I were to do Minecraft daily, then I could actually focus more on doing Operation Dome or Operation Bedrock, respectively, and you guys could see the behind the scenes so that... There you go, you get to see what goes on in Operation Dome or Bedrock. Like, right now, I'm just chopping down the birch trees because I'm going to need some charcoal. So that's kind of the behind the scenes right now. So, this was rude of me. I forgot to invite you to the game. And my battery's going to die. Oh, great. Hopefully it won't die within this, this 20 minutes. And also, I'm kind of getting sick because... This is how my schedule goes. I think I actually explained this earlier, but not in full detail. I do explain this every now and then, but for those who don't know, usually I go to bed around 3 to 5 a.m. Because I am working on the videos, rendering the videos, pretty much babysitting it, because usually at times, Adobe Premiere really hates me. At times, it will actually just say you need, you're gonna need permission from this file to overwrite it, but yet I'm the administrator of the computer, so I automatically have permission, always on, it should work, but it doesn't. And usually, sometimes it goes up to 30 minutes, like, it's rendering for the first 30 minutes, and then it stops, the message pops up saying that you need permission to overwrite this file, and then it starts over. Like, it cancels the rendering. So after that whole 30 minutes, it stops, that 30 minutes wasted, then I have to wait another 30 minutes on top of another 30 minutes because it usually takes an hour to render it. 
and if it were to fail three times that means I lost an hour and 30 minutes and it would be a total of two hours waiting for the video to be fully rendered so that I could actually get ready to upload it whenever the scheduled time is. So that's mainly why I stay up late because I'm babysitting the program to see if it will actually be successful because the last thing I need is that I wake up to find out that it has not been rendered and I can't upload anything for that day. Yeah, I'm, I'm really a workaholic. When it comes to YouTube, at least. Just can't wait till I could actually either quit my job to find a different job that's part-time, or maybe hopefully they'll actually give me less hours. I'm just waiting for summer break. That's going to be my make it or break it stage. And what happens then, if YouTube does not work for me, then I'm going to go back to college. I'm going to start out with two classes per semester. At least I am getting my education and at least I could have more time to do a lot of more stuff and hopefully I'll finally get part time so that I could at least have a little bit more hours dedicated to working on YouTube videos or something along the matters of bettering myself so that I could actually fall asleep or get more sleep because the main thing is that I'm really sleep deprived. So yeah, the schedule goes like this. I wake up at 12 to 1 p.m. I go to work at 4. I come back around 10 to 11. Well, actually, probably 11 to 12, actually. I never get home at, I never get home at 10. So I go home at 11 or 12. From there, I work on the videos. Or I am working out just a tad bit because that's pretty much the only time I have. And then at 3 to 5 a.m., I finally go to bed. I wake up the next day and start the whole cycle all over again. I'm going to have complications when I grow up, or when I get older, sorry. I'm just going to have a lot of health complications at this rate. So this is why I'm going to try to make the schedule work where I wake up, I get at least two to three Minecraft videos recorded, then I go to work, then I go back home, I work on the videos, I render them, and I work out and I try to do a little bit of a, like a let's play episode or two and then I go to bed and start the next day with the same schedule all over again and then Sunday I'll probably be rendering all the videos I need to render so that I could be ready to have them uploaded with the following weeks and if I'm able to actually keep up with that with a good schedule and as well as with all the videos that are recorded then I could possibly have a lot more free time to relax and knowing that I have a video uploaded or getting ready to be uploaded, then I could just not worry about whether or not if I'm going to have enough time to upload a video. That's just the main thing. It's a lot of work, but it's going to pay off one day. Again, I thank you guys for the support. If you guys have any questions, concerns, topics, good discussions, or ideas you can share with me in the comment section, feel free to do so. Or if you want to message me on Twitter or YouTube, you may do that as well. And again, if I do answer your question or use your idea, suggestion, or any of the things that I can make a video about, then I'll credit you verbally within that video as well as I'll link your channel in the video or the description, giving you thanks for helping me out with something to do or something to talk about for that day so that it helps me and it helps you, it helps everyone, everyone's happy, and we can interact more. It kind of warms my heart to see that people saying, Oh, hey, you are actually one of these people who actually answer to their fans. I'm like, yeah, I answer whenever I can, but I just can't answer to everyone. And then they go off saying like, well, it's not like, it's like the other popular YouTubers, they don't answer to their fans. And it's really understandable because they get so many messages that they can't always answer to everyone. When they answer to one person, everybody else expects them to be answered as well. So it's kind of like an impossible thing. They try their best. They usually answer one person to answer a bunch of other people who may be saying the same thing. Like if one person has one question and the person actually answers that question, it'll probably answer about another 10 or 100 questions that other people may have. Or wait, 100 people, sorry. Tens or hundreds of people who may have already or wanted to ask the same question. Just because they answered to one person, that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean like that person is special, really. Or the other, the only one who is special. I don't know. I don't know how to word it correctly. 
I'm terrible at explaining things at times. It's just they try their best. The guy to be lucky enough to be the first one to be seen out of the ocean of fan mail. Is that everyone wants to feel special? Everyone wants it to be answered directly, but just pretty much don't expect to always be answered directly. And if your question does get answered, but it's from another person, just feel glad that you get to know the information that you wanted to know in the first place. That's all I can say. Kind of long, I actually kind of long the day, like, that I become at that point of success where I'm going to get a lot of questions and I can't answer to every single one of them. Just, I want, I'm going to start interacting more often with people as much as I can with the time that I have right now. But, like I said, if I have to go back to college, then don't expect a lot of time from me. Because then I'm going to have to focus on some of the schoolwork. Then I have to go to my work. Then I'm going to try to make some videos. I'm just going to be busy all over. Just, again, I really hope that I will get part-time if I go back to college. Because even when I was at college, I actually had four classes, and I still had a lot of hours from work. And when I went to work, I even let them know, but it's like, they need me because they have no one else. So I got a lot of hours from work. On top of that, I had a lot of schoolwork too. And that was when that was before I actually started uploading videos daily. I would actually upload at least a video a week back then. It was simpler times. Back when Call of Duty was there, like I was playing Modern Warfare 3 before I actually got Minecraft for the Xbox 360. And then you know the history from there. I just made Operation Bedrock, I made other videos, and a lot of people knew me from there. It's just, I have no idea what else to say, actually. Just, if I ever do become successful, Promise me that, what's it called? What, what, what was I going to say? There was something on my head for a second. Huh. Let me see. It happens. If I become too arrogant or too cocky or just seem like an overall jerk, let me know that I am. Just let me know. I don't want to be that type of person who gets all caught up in fame or caught up in what they have and then one day just you lose it all because you've forgotten who you were or who you are. Kind of the same thing. Just don't let don't let me ruin myself. Just don't let me ruin myself. That's all I can say. Because there's a lot of people there's a lot of people who actually became famous and they've forgotten their roots, they've forgotten their fans, and ultimately some of the channels that they have, they kind of died off. I'm not going to name any names, of course. Just protect, just protect the other people. I just can't wait to see how much they could actually do on the Xbox 360 edition of Minecraft. Because on the Xbox One and PS4, they're going to do a lot of things that the Xbox 360 cannot handle. But they're going to try. They're going to actually try to make the best out of the Xbox 360. Because one of the things that they are rumored is that you, it is possible to get larger worlds in the Minecraft Xbox 360. But the thing is, you're going to actually have to have a hard drive installed. Or at least... Pretty much connected to the Xbox at all times because it's going to take a lot of memory, and obviously with the hard drive, you're going to get a lot of memory. So I would love to see how large this—no, not this world in particular, but Minecraft worlds in general. I want to see how large it can actually be. One thing that's confirmed. I'm sorry. we can't have the infinite. What's possible is, well, it's not infinite, but it's going to be a larger world. The only way it's going to be infinite is if you got the PC, of course, because there's always loading chunks. But either way, it's that, let me see, what else was I going to say? Hmm. I know for a fact, like, they're working on actually making Xbox 360 files transferable into the Xbox One. So if I get the Xbox One, 
I can easily transfer Operation Dome and Operation Bedrock onto the Xbox One. And from there, we can work on it from the Xbox One. And I want to know what, what the possibilities of Xbox One can do. If you could actually have your very own server, then I could actually um, pretty much put it up as a server. Oh, my older brother has Xbox One, and he's able to use Skype on it. Well, is, it, is the Minecraft already on the Xbox One yet? I don't remember. But I do know that you could actually be on Skype and actually talk to him. Hey, at least with Skype, it would be a lot easier to actually communicate with fans. Like, I could actually just record the Xbox One and then have Skype going on in the background, and then we could just talk while we're playing. I don't know. You could actually make a, a different version of a live stream. Yeah, that could be a live stream. It's just, I, I don't know the limit on the Skype call can be, but hey, it could work. For those who don't know, I do have a live stream account just right now. It's kind of laggy. When I actually made a, my testing video, later on it started to lag where I was starting to talk before the action happened on the visuals of the video game. So I need to work on that. Either I have to actually put a delay or I'm going to have to get a better bandwidth or a little bit of better connection so that a lag like that cannot happen again. I really want to perfect the live streaming aspects right now. Just the best as I can so it will be at least entertaining for you. So let me see here, let me see here. Yeah? Probably do one like um, like um, TDM does, a um, occasional vlog. Well that's the, that's the thing that's going to be part of my daily Minecraft videos. It's not going to only pertain to actually answering people's questions. It's going to be just sometimes it'll be vlogging, not actual IRL type of vlogging unless it actually calls for it. But I mean like I'm talking about what's been going on while Minecraft or while I'm playing Minecraft. So you can at least have some visuals of Minecraft while I am just talking about life or I'm talking about other things that may have happened like storage from work and other things. I know one one story I could tell is that there was a drunk guy who actually entered the store and we actually had to call paramedics for him because he asked us for help. And then there was another guy who actually said he wanted to shoot me. Hmm. Well, either way. That's just another interesting story to tell. Maybe I'll go TMI often and tell you guys some bathroom stories. Bathroom horror stories. Yeah, no one wants to no one wants to start eating and then listen oh, to a yeah. bathroom story. Nobody wants to do that. Yeah, we already know how that's gonna end. It's like this is TMI moment. If you're warning, if you are eating right now, I recommend you stop eating or you don't watch this video if you have a weak stomach and a great imagination. Just something along the matters. Just keep making videos. Are losing their imagination. A vivid imagination. I'm the type of person that you could literally say anything and the image will pop in my head. That's how great my imagination is. It's a blessing and a curse. Okay, if your imagination that imaginative. Okay, let's think of a world where there's nothing in it. And it, and it goes from to inside out they get stretched out to the galaxy back to yeah I can imagine a giant white room and then stars of a galaxy start to form out it just spreads out and just keeps on spreading and spreading and spreading until the whole entire universe was created and then comes straight comes back out from the center point and then it turns into an apple <laughs> that is life, people. Your whole life is an apple. <laughs> One thing I want to mention is that I still have a cut under my tongue, and right now it's already numb due to the fact that I've been taking Aura Gel. Let me see. It, is it, yeah, I think it's called Aura Gel. I hit the mic. I am sorry about that, but I need to find the mouthwash. 
Yeah, it's Orgel Antiseptic Rinse. So, it's for mouth sores. It promotes healing and kills bacteria, canker sores, gum irritation, cheek bites, irritation from dentures or braces. I'm not sponsored, by the way. I'm just letting you know that if you have any canker sores, this is the product that you want to get. They have it in mint flavor, and it's not all that bad. It doesn't make you sick. At least for me, it doesn't. And my wolves disappeared. Oh, nope, there they are. Wolfies! They're there. Just want to make sure. Yeah, I got more wolfies because every single time, they literally always despawn. I have no idea why, but they just love to despawn. So I'm just going to have them walk with me, and I'm going to go on to a killing spree. Oh, oh dear. Can we leave you, wolfies? Right, I'm going inside right now. I love all my wolfies. They're awesome. Oh, oh dang, I'm starving to death. Get the cow. Get the cow, wolfies. Get the cow. Come on. Come on. Charge! Charge, Wolfies! Get him! Get him! Get him! Come on, get the cow! Oh god, Creeper! God dang it, Creeper. At least my wolves were smart enough not to actually stay away from me. Okay. And now I gotta fix this spot. Where's, where's Steve when you need him? He has all the dirt. Why Steve? Oh well, we'll fix that later. Get the piggy. Ooh, it's a slaughter fest. Okay. Well, I guess that's all the animals for now. I don't want to attack anyone in the pen. So, let me see, let me see. A little bit of a pool party right here. They need a bath anyways. I can never get enough of that. Okay, I don't have any zombie flesh, so let me see. You and you. You and you. Oh dang! You oh dang! Oh, and you. Stay away from me, creeper. Now we get puppies. Look at all that! Look at all that! We got puppies. Sit. You sit. I own the world. Sit and sit. Come over here. Come here, doggies. I like to separate them. Because it feels weird to interbreed the wolves. That's just my opinion. <laughs> I don't know which one's which, but it's fine. We're just going to assume that these are the parents and then the... Uh, Little baby wolves, they'll be separated. That's where the color coding their collars come. Well, yeah, but even then, they'll just spawn, and then I just don't want to waste all the dye. Come here, Wolfie. Come here. Right here. Go with Come here. black dye, red dye, and yellow dye. They, Come here. That dye is always replenishable. Sit. There you go. Yeah, we could do yellow, white, black, and as well as red. Oh yeah, red will be its own color still. Never mind, that's just redundant. I'm stupid. We can also make orange. Nah, that's fine. Because I can't get any more than 10 anyways. The most I got was 18. Oh yeah, in Operation Bedrock, I, I believe one of my wolves actually came back. I don't know where it came from, but I think I actually got my wolf back. I just don't remember. I'm going to have to check out my wolf back. I'm going to have to check out my wolves again in Operation Bedrock sometime soon. So right now, one of the things that's kind of still being buggy is that there's the invisibility glitch and I think in Operation Bedrock that the blocks appear again after even after you mine them. So we're just going to have to do something about that soon. Or actually, we can't do anything about that. We're just going to have to live with it until the other patch update comes, comes along. Because 4J right now realizes all the invisibi or invisibility glitches, especially when you're playing Hunger Games and you're trying to fight people, but people keep disappearing. Or if you go into a world that's created by another person, you go into there and then everyone still disappeared. It's just weird. They're going to fix all that 
eventually and hopefully they'll actually fix that up within the next TU update which will be TU 16 so it's gonna be a little bit of a while because if they actually start making a patch update they're gonna have to call it TU 16 and then we have to wait till TU 17 which is gonna be the next major update which is gonna confuse a lot of people because right now at least with every even number is a major update so they I don't think they're gonna actually break that chain just yet they bring oh yeah TU-16 is going to be a main update, TU-17 is going to be a patch update, then TU-18 is going to be another main update. So it's going to be a, that type of pattern for a while. The next one. So at least with Gathering Charcoal, we'll be able to actually get some levels off of that. So I could actually enchant more shovels. And then with the charcoal, we could actually burn or smelt, sorry, proper wording here. Smelt all the sand to glass and we could get more experience from there and even more enchantings. Then it's going to be great. It's going to speed up the process just a tad bit. And we could actually start working on, on the quadrants. So... Hopefully this video does not lag at the very last second because I really want to show them what it looks like right now. So SMO, could you please come to bed? I have a zombie near me. All I have to do is just get into the house and then you'll be safe. How would a zombie even appear over there? Oh, hey. He's on the ground. Nah, otherwise we wouldn't be able to sleep. Be able to sleep. Bonds is not on the same level. Oh yeah, I forgot they actually fixed that because a long, a little bit of a lo time, so yeah, a little bit of time ago, we were not able to actually sleep because they were actually near us. So here is quadrant. Whoa, where's my map at? So yeah, we are at quadrant number three, heading over to quadrant number two. So we're at quadrant number two, is that we're going to continue working on putting down glass blocks on the ceiling. So that's what Operation Dome is all about. Some say it may be pointless, but it's like, eh, it gives us something to do. I'm not really much of a builder, so yeah. I do have, I do have ideas for what other videos I can do as a project, but it's going to take a lot of time. As well as a lot of patience. And nothing could go wrong. Otherwise then the whole video is just. Pretty much ruined. So there is a middle right there. And we're already spreading out. All the way to quadrant number two. What is that over there? Is that a house? That is not. It, no. I cannot even tell from here. It's just. I don't know what that is. I'm going to go over there and check it out. That better not be a house. I'm like why would you want to put a house all the way over there? Oh no, that's just dirt. Okay, never mind. Look like some houses right there. I'm like, what the heck? Where did that come from? And then, of course, there's going to be an autosave. Heep. Oh, I wanted to jump. Well then. <laughs> I wanted to see if you were to actually jump in midair and then land, we still get hurt. But I was not able to do that. Maybe next time. Maybe if I were to save wall falling. Either way, that's, this is pretty much what Operation Dome is all about. We're just going to be making some glass blocks, glass panes. We're going to make a cube dome across the entire world. And once that's done, we're going to actually put up the world for download. And I am lagging. Okay. <laughs> An actual game, not the recording itself. Otherwise, I would be a little bit disappointed. But with operation dome we're gonna actually set it up we're gonna clean everything we're gonna make everything look pretty then you guys can download it you can do whatever you want with it it's still gonna be the same seed number as operation bedrock so if you know where everything is at then you could just explore the world for yourself so there we have it Other than that in a little bit of a short recap i am a little bit stressed out with the time that i don't have but i'm gonna try to make the best of it so that I could make more... Oh, my controller just died. Huh. Well then. 
Oh. Let me see. I got some backup battery. This is why you always, what's it called, invest in it's rechargeables. Come on. I dag nabbit. Okay, there we go. I'm back. Hooray. So, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to try to invest, or I'm going to try to make time to actually make Minecraft videos every single day. So, be patient with me. I'm going to create a lot of videos before I actually start uploading them daily. So, until then, you're going to see the Let's Play episodes. And Oh, look at that, another Wolfie! Wolfie! Oh my god, I don't have any bones. I don't have bones. Wolfie! Why you do this to me? <laughs> Why? <sighs> well then, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stare at this wolf. Why not? I'm just gonna stare at him. Okay, so with the uh, Minecraft videos, it's gonna be a while till I actually start posting Minecraft videos daily. Those so the one thing I'm gonna ask you is do not pay attention to the continuity of time because. It's not going to match up what's happening currently. But either way, it's going to get a little bit it's, it's going to be a little bit confusing to explain it all right now, and right now I'm kind of a little tired as well. Wolfie, get back here. Okay. So, if you guys have any questions, concerns, topics, discussions, ideas, or any suggestions you would like to leave me down in the comment section below, feel free to do so. If you want to send me a message on Twitter or YouTube, you may do that as well. And if I do answer your question or your topic, your discussion, use your idea or your suggestion, I will credit you verbally within that video as well as I will link your channel in the description or the video itself, giving you thanks for helping me out with something to do or something to talk about for that day. So, there we have it. This is Operation Dome. We got a lot of work to do and as well as we got a lot of work to do in Operation Bedrock as well. So thank you SMO for joining me in this episode. So with that being well, said, I'm Sword of King 090. Have a great day everyone and as always, we will see you in the next video. God bless.